Hello, this is JC from Real and Simulated Wars. It is a wonderful day to be flying here in Syria, in this year's world. And uh, we're going to be doing some use um, or practice with the new ground moving target mode for the ground radar of the FA-18. There is a column of tanks. I just switch it to air to ground mode. I'm going to prepare my, my Mavericks. I wanna go through all the stations and change my field of view because things tend to get very very small when you are distant so this is the ground mode for the radar just the map mode and we're switching to ground moving target mode as you see there is a brick there that's a column of tanks and uh, implementation is a bit arcadish yet but you know it works it's a bit i i should say like you know over the top when it comes to differentiating clutter or anything like that right now we are like 22 miles from this column and we can detect them with no problem which i believe it shouldn't be a problem but um you know uh traffic like civilian traffic is of course cannot be detected by this uh, radar mode and uh, all other things that make you know the fighting environment so interesting so we uh, that's a column you see I just switch it and uncage it my Maverick F's and uh, you see over there that there is a column slowly moving from um, from the right to the left we have a uh, Apparently the radar is pointing at that uh, first one in the column and the Maverick is trying to to lock into it but of course this is still too early because our range is still around 17 miles which is a lot so we're going to wait until we get the first lock and uh, my speed is 270 knots roughly and uh, that's on purpose because I want to do a single pass and use my four Mavericks that's the main reason so right now the Maverick is a sensor of interest and is directly looking at where the radar is looking oh it switched to tank number three down in the column apparently that's no problemo the counter is coming down on a line directly against the target there we go timer is coming down range I am sorely tempted to launch this guy but I will not 5, 4 three two one launch then undesignate target so I can slew the maverick on to the next poor soul then back to the radar a sensor of interest so I can get because you know my mavericks are slewed into something else so I hope I don't hit two times undesignate target for the fourth Maverick let's go down there we go and then we're going to break we're on top of the tanks and we run away one tank destroyed two tanks destroyed three tanks destroyed and four tanks destroyed let's do some BDA I 
They left a company of tanks around here. Have you seen it? Jesus, I have the spatial orientation of it. So let's go to ground view and let's see our damage. Uh, there you go. Beautiful, horrible damage. I will, from here, I will just go into tack view to see and to evaluate if this thing is worth because as you know, we need to be flying pretty straight and I hate that thing that, you know, uh, the, um, you need to get out and designate the target as soon as you launch the first Maverick. For the second one in the series, you have to unlock the target and designate the target. So that's a bit of an inconvenience. Then you have to slew uh, your Maverick individually and then go back to radar mode for the next set of two which is you know it can get really very dangerous if you're flying straight and uh very difficult for the old folk like me who you know has almost no reflexes so if you know how to do this in a different or more efficient way just let me know and I will be happy to try it. So in the meantime, thank you very much. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and to like. That helps me really a lot. Thank you very much.